Move in silence. Let your music and your art and your work speak for itself. That is such a load of crap. <laughs> Let's talk about why that's just ridiculous. Especially if you're looking for more gigs as a music producer, engineer, artist, anything in the music industry. Never move in silence. Tip of the day. First of all, this saying itself, move in silence, let your work speak for itself, etc., comes from a place of lack and it comes from a place of I can only have this or I can have that, right? It's saying you need to move in silence and not tell anyone about what you're doing and then just let your work speak for yourself, which means don't promote yourself. Don't talk about what you're doing, right? There, like, why not both? Why wouldn't you be cranking and making stuff that matters and also talking about it? Like that comes from a lack mentality. And that's why I hate that saying. That's why I hate it. Seeing it all over Instagram, seeing it on people's stories. So I want to break down exactly how you can get more gigs. And that starts with promotion. So this actually comes from uh, Brandon Dawson. I've learned from him through the inner circle. I'm like in a mentoring program with Grant Cardone, Brandon Dawson. I always try to learn from people that are making a lot more money than me, basically. It doesn't matter what industry they're in. If they've done business, they're really great at marketing and sales. I'm learning from the marketing and sales people, the people that are awesome at it. If they're really great at producing music, I'm learning from the best producers, right? If they're really great at engineering, I learn from the best engineers. I go to Mix with the Masters. I'm subscribed. I, I'm subscribed to puremix.com online, right? Like I learn from the people that are better than me. And that's the first thing you should be doing. If you really want gigs, you don't learn from your broke friend putting up a post about move in silence, bro, that you work, do you, shut up, right? These are people that don't make them enough money to even live, right? Off their music, they're working part-time jobs, they're selling cars on the side, they're doing all this other stuff. So learn from the people that are doing it, right? That's the first step if you want to make money with your music. Now from Brandon Dawson, let's get back into this idea. He talks about the three P's. The three P's, the first P is promote, 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 promote. You need to promote yourself, promote your business, promote what you're about, promote, make tip of the days, make content, right? Like put it out there. Like I'm not afraid to do that. If you're afraid to talk about yourself, sell your product, you, who you are, what you're doing or give value or add content, then you need to really rethink what you're doing because you're not sold on what you're doing. And that's never going to get you anywhere. That's truly you're like, oh man, I don't want to talk about me playing guitar. Like, well, because you, you're not sold. You don't think that you're good at guitar. You don't think you're good enough to get paid for playing guitar. That's straight up. Like learn how to be sold on yourself. Why aren't you sold on, on your guitar skills? Why aren't you sold on your beat making skills? Why do you think you can't make any money with your beats? Why do you think that you can't make money with your engineering and going in and recording people and mixing and mastering for them? Where, where, where does that come from? It comes from a lack mentality. It comes from you not being sold on you. So that's the first P is promote and you need to promote. And the only way that you're going to want to promote yourself is if you're sold on yourself. Okay. So the first step, number two is a process. It's P2. It's number two on the P scale, the PP. Got your PP. All right. Process. You have to have a process for everything. What's your process when you uh, make a piece of content? What's your process when someone sends you a, a, a DM or an email or asks you about further details into your services or what you're doing? What's your process? Oh, bro, my process is I leave them in the DMs and I'm just like not feeling like responding to them right now because I'm high, <laughs> right? Like you have to have a process. The process is, is that I do this and then I do this and then I run them through a sales process and then I pitch them an invoice and then I do this and I follow up with them within, you know, follow up with them within 24 hours and then we send this and then we send an invoice through this system. This is how they pay. Here's a landing page. Have a process, a detailed process to how you close that business. This is super important and if you've made it through this far in the tip of the day, I'm going to try and give you as much value as possible. Okay. Now the third P is going to be people. Once you have a detailed promotion and a process behind how you sell, close deals, how you run your business, how you take people through everything, then you can start adding people and that's called scaling your business, right? So once you add people, you can have someone, you know, that's cleaning your, your studio and, and, um, you know, you can add an intern, you know, to start. Right. And then you can add someone that you hire for your taxes and you do their, they do your accounting. 
etc. You can hire a salesperson, someone that makes calls, sets up appointments, just an appointment setter, right? And then you close the deals. But if you don't have a process, what are you going to do? Like, come on in, bro. Hey, come on in. Okay. Yeah. So just go sell stuff. What are we selling? Do you have like a sheet? Do you have a, a script? Like, what do I say to people? Like, if they hit me up about this, like, what, how do I answer that? Like, what, what questions should I ask them? What's the, you know, how much do we charge for that? Do we offer that service? Well, okay. You're not going to scale if you don't have a process together. So those are the three P's. Learn that from Brandon Dawson. Definitely give him a follow. He's t- taken companies from $100,000 a year to millions of dollars a year within months, right? He's taken companies to hundreds of millions of dollars a year. So those are the people I learn from with scaling, all right? And I think you should too. So I'm just passing on this information, but those are the three Ps. You want to promote, promote, promote. You want to process be t- behind everything you do from promotion to sales to business to advertising to anything you're doing, right? And the third is you want to add people. And then you want to teach those people these processes. All right. So that's really scaling. That's building your business. That's how you're going to get more clients is get these things together and stop, please, for God's sake, stop listening to people you don't even know on Instagram that have no proof of any success in this business at all, in any sense, not even making a living with their music, telling you to move in silence. That's bullshit. If you like this tip of the day, click the link in the description and let's get to work together one-on-one in the beat gang. You'll get my cell phone number. We can talk to each other directly. I want to learn more about you. I want to help you scale your music business. And I want you to stop listening to the internet pretenders. That's really the key here, right? We want to make real money with music. We don't want you to be making money off the side and like trading Bitcoin and you know, doing some sketchy stuff, right? So click the description, join the beat gang today, and let's get into it. And uh, that's the tip of the day. I mean, we're almost every day on this, right? Almost every day.